Hi y'all. Just doing a quick video today on this cute little um, small dog harness that I got for a pretty good deal. Um, you know, a lot of times you get what you pay for and I'm pretty happy with how inexpensive this was and that it came in a size that actually fit him. And you can see it's a pull, it's the type, the neck isn't adjustable, so you have to pull it over their head. So if, you know, you have a dog that escapes, this might not be the harness for you. That's my neighbor's wind chimes. Isn't that lovely when you love to hear that 24-7? And um, it's a little loose. I could buck a little, little tighter, but I didn't want to uh, make him uncomfortable the first time that he wore it. And you can see that it's it's bendable. You know, it, it's pretty flexible. It is just fabric, and it's got um, the soft backing. And it's pretty sturdy. You know, the the D ring is a lot larger than I thought. The, this is a lot larger. You know, more sturdy. The buckle size. So if you've got um, a small dog. This might be a little too heavy for them, like a light bone dog, but as you can see, he is not a light bone dog. And um, I'm pretty happy with it for the price point. Come here. So there. You can see the chest. And a dog with, um, a, <laughs> with a larger body. He's got um, a lot of weight to lose, so he's a little hard to fit. And uh, so far though, I mean, you can see I can pull on it. You know, it, it's doing fine. I wouldn't recommend it for a heavy puller, but uh, I'll drop the link to buy it on Amazon in the notes. And uh, it was just so cute. I wanted to just do a quick video. Thanks for watching.